to your health, said Victor, raising his glass. When you agreed to this meeting, I wasn't expecting dinner, he continued, especially not in such beautiful surroundings. I'm glad you like the view, Victor, Aurora replied. We worked hard to create it. Sometimes showing an opponent you can play their game by their rules makes a good impression. How's the bouillabaisse? I only eat magnificent dishes, Victor said. Aurora, this is superb. Would it be rude to kidnap your chef? An act of war, but understandable, Aurora responded, and less rude than turning your dinner guest into a chrome statue. Ah, yes, that issue with Arcade, Victor recalled. How long ago was that? I sent a robot in my place. The machine was having some internal fault. The real Doom would never disrespect a goddess by breaking the bonds of hospitality. Don't flout, Victor. It's unbecoming, Aurora chided. My apologies, Victor said. I meant it's refreshing to see you in a role that fits your capabilities, as a true queen rather than a king's wife. Victor, do you really want to discuss our marriages now? Aurora asked. I tire of small talk, Victor admitted. We should talk about more serious matters, perhaps ones that could end worlds. We should talk about Mysterium and what it has caused. The forces beyond this realm are less limited. Which brings us to Mysterium, Aurora said. The mutant miracle metal. Did you know it resonates with magic? It might even be resistant to it. That's not information we've shared, Victor, Aurora pointed out. And if you had to, Victor challenged. I am a doctor of the fifth art. From childhood, I forged myself in secret fire. I have my mother's eyes. Oh, and what exactly do you think you see? Aurora asked. Many things, Victor replied. Mysterium isn't from our reality. Using mutant technology, you condense it from primal cosmic particles that exist both outside and at the heart of our cosmos. They've always been the same place, the above place, the white hot room. And is that a problem for you, Victor? That we were first? Aurora questioned. You've stolen fire from heaven to hold in your hands. How could I object? I've done the same myself, but with one significant difference, I wore gloves. Be careful, you are dabblers, and at this scale, the unintended consequences of dabbling can be severe. The wrong symbol or metaphor can destroy you. You've turned the gold that alchemists sought into common coin, shackled the sublime to the material world, and altered the balance of things. So it's true, Aurora said, but enough to create an opportunity for someone who knows how to seize it, Victor continued. Something is coming, Aurora. Perhaps it's already here.